In this freeform video tutorial, I will demonstrate you how to crochet the triple colored scramble. For work, you need three kinds of yarn and a crochet hook. Firstly, I'm going to make spiral element. Begin the work by making a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five and join the chain in the round by making a slip stitch into the first chain stitch, then chain to bring up the yarn, and single crochet into the ring. Let's count. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then half double crochet and double crochet into the same ring. I will work with row that I have just done. Make two double crochet into the chain stitch. 1, and 2. Make double crochet into the next back loop. Then 3 double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. 1, 2, and 3. Then 2 double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. 1 and 2. Make 2 double crochet. 1, 2. Now 3 double crochet into the next back loop. 1, 2 and 3. Then 2 double crochet into the next back loop. Then double crochet into the next back loop. Double crochet into the next back loop. And 2 treble crochet into the same back loop. 1, 2 treble crochet into the next back loop, 1, 2, treble crochet into the next back loop, 2 treble crochet into the next back loop, 1 and 2. Then 3 treble crochet into the next back loop, 1, 2, 3, 2, continue, 2 treble crochet into back loop of next stitch, 1, and 2, then treble crochet into the next back loop and two treble crochet into the next back loop. The next back loop. I remind you we started from the single crochet stitches, then I did double crochet and treble crochet. And I will make one more round. You need to continue the work so that the swatch is not pulled together and it was not large. I did treble crochet stitches one more round. Here how it looks so far. 
I'm gonna to make reverse single crochet stitches. This round will be made of other kind of yarn. I will work with front loop of each stitch. Make a chain and reverse single crochet into the front loop. Insert the hook into the front loop. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops to finish reverse single crochet. Continue. Make reverse single crochet into the next front loop. As you can see, I am working from the left to the right. Insert the hook into the front loop. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops to finish reverse single crochet. Keep working in this way till the beginning of the work. I did reverse single crochet and we continue the work. As you remember where we finished to make treble crochet stitches, I insert the hook into the next stitch, take the other kind of yarn, pull it through. Make a chain of 4 to bring up the yarn, 1, 2, 3, 4, then treble crochet through the next stitch. For this yarn over twice to work with treble crochet and make treble crochet through the next stitch. And I will be making bull and block stitch around this post. For this yarn over pull up a loop 8 times around the treble crochet. Insert the hook around the treble crochet, pull up a loop, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then insert the hook into the stitch that came out of the treble crochet, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. And to secure bull and block stitch make a chain. The first bull and block stitch is ready. And let's repeat again. And make treble crochet into the back loop of the second stitch. I skip the first stitch and insert the hook into the back loop of the second stitch pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times, yarn over, pull up a loop eight more times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then insert the hook into the stitch that came out of the treble crochet, pull up a loop, then yarn over the hook and pull through all loops on the hook. And to secure the bull and block stitch, make a chain. The second one is done. Then make treble crochet into the back loop of the second stitch. We skip the next stitch. Make bull and block stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop eight more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Insert the hook into the stitch that came out of the treble crochet, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook to secure bull and block stitch, make a chain. You should continue by yourself and you need to make six more bull and block stitches. In total, I did nine bull and block stitches. In your case, it can be more or less such bull and block stitches. After the last bull and block stitch, make a chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I skip 3 back loops, 1, 2, 3, and make a slip stitch into the fourth back loop. Then I will work with other yarn.
make a chain 3 to bring up the yarn 1 2 3 turn the work and make 11 double crochet stitches into the chain space space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 we need to crochet two more 10 and 11 now make a slip stitch into the woolen block stitch row is made then chain 3 to bring up the yarn turn the work and I'm gonna to alternate with front post and back post treble crochet I did yarn over twice and make front post treble crochet around the next stitch now back post treble crochet around the next stitch insert the hook from the back to the front like this Pull up a loop, pull through two loops three times. Make front post treble crochet around the next stitch and make back post treble crochet around the next stitch. make front post treble crochet and back post treble crochet continue working in this way till the end of this row make the last treble crochet into the chain and treble crochet more into the same chain now I will join this swatch to the spiral put them together and make a slip stitch let's look at our motif now we continue the work I take another color of yarn insert the hook into the chain stitch in the beginning take the new yarn pull it through chain 3 to bring up the yarn 1 2 3 skip the next stitch and make popcorn stitch into the next stitch for this five double crochet into the second stitch one two three four and five remove the hook insert it into the first double crochet take the working loop pull it through We have done the first popcorn stitch. Continue chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and skip the next stitch and do the popcorn stitch into the second stitch. For this, 5 double crochet into the second stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. remove the hook insert it into the first double crochet take the working loop pull it through the second popcorn is ready we continue the work chain three 
and make popcorn into the second stitch we skip the first stitch and five double crochet into the second stitch one two three four five remove the hook insert it into the first double crochet take the working loop pull it through the third popcorn stitch is done continue working in this way till the end of this row I have done the row of the popcorn stitches I leave this yarn and now I'm go back to the place where I join it swatch to the spiral I didn't cut off the yarn and we continue the work make a chain to bring up the yarn then chain 3 for the chain space then skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the third one chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the third one chain 3 skip 2 stitches and single crochet into the third one chain 3 and single crochet into the third one chain 3 and make single crochet into the last stitch pull up the working loop I did chain spaces, remove the hook, insert it in other yarn that we made popcorn of, chain 3, and I will be making ruches. Now 7 double crochet into each chain space. 1, 2, 3, four five six and seven now make seven double crochet with chains into each chain space seven double crochet with seven chains one two three four five six and seven so you need to do in this way till the end of this row I have made the ruches here how motif looks at this point and we continue the work from the place where we stopped it before I take brown yarn insert the hook into the working loop Now I will be joining the swatch to the ruches for this chain of 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and make a slip stitch into the boolean block stitch. Chain 3 to bring up the yarn, 1, 2, 3, turn on the work and make double crochet stitches into the this chain space let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine now let's join this swatch to the ruches insert the hook into the loop by making a slip stitch chain 3 to bring up the yarn 1, 2, 3 turn on the work and I will make a puff stitch make double crochet into the next stitch let's make the puff stitch 
Pour this yarn over the hook pull up loop four times. Insert the hook around the double crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, insert the hook around the double crochet, pull up a loop, three and four. Then yarn over the hook, pull through all loops on the hook and make a chain to secure the puff stitch. Let's make the second one. For this make double crochet through the next stitch, yarn over the hook, pull up a loop four times, yarn over the hook, pull up a loop one, make the second time, three and four, then yarn over the hook, pull through all loops on the hook and make a chain. The second puff stitch is done. Make the third one, double crochet through the next stitch and make a puff stitch yarn over the hook pull up loop four times one, two, three, four, then pull through all loops on the hook and make a chain. Continue working in this way till the end of this row. I did puff stitches. I made the last double crochet with no puff stitch. I made the last double crochet into the third chain stitch. Work with a slip stitch into the one, two, into the third stitch of the previous row. I join two pieces of work, chain two, Then skip two stitches and make a slip stitch into the third one. Turn the work, it will be a row of treble crochet stitches. Yarn over twice to work with treble crochet and treble crochet into the stitch. Then make treble crochet between stitches. Then treble crochet into the stitch. Then treble crochet between stitches and treble crochet into the stitch. This is round motif, so our treble crochet stitches should be the same shape as the round motif. And make treble crochet into the same stitch. Then treble crochet between stitches. Then two treble crochet. One and two. Then treble crochet between stitches. Then two treble crochet into the next stitch. One and two. Then two treble crochet between stitches. One, two. like this, then two treble crochet into the next stitch, then two treble crochet between stitches, one and two. Continue working in this way till the end of this row. Make the last treble crochet into the fourth chain stitch on the beginning on the previous row. Now I join other color of yarn, make a chain to bring up the yarn, then chain of four, one, two, three, four, begin the boolean block stitch.
make treble crochet through the next stitch and yarn over pull up a loop eight times let's begin yarn over the hook insert the hook around the treble crochet pull up a loop make the second time three four five six seven eight then insert the hook into the stitch that came out of treble crochet pull up a loop then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and make a chain the first pull and block stitch is ready then skip two stitches and make single crochet into the third one chain of four one two three four make treble crochet through the next stitch and pull and block stitch yarn over pull up a loop eight times one two three four five six seven and eight insert the hook into the stitch that came out of treble crochet pull up a loop then yarn over pull up a loop then yarn over pull through all loops on the hook then make a chain the second pull and block stitch is ready we skip two stitches one two and single crochet into the third stitch we have just done two pull and block stitches keep working in this way till the end of this row i have made the row of the 3d elements the row is made i already cut off the yarn let's look at our scramble we still need to continue I go back to the point where we finish to make treble crochet stitches. Make a chain of brown yarn to bring up the yarn. Then chain of four, one, two, three, four, and single crochet into the same chain space. then chain of four one two three four and single crochet into the next chain space four chains one two three four and single crochet into the next chain space one two three four chains and single crochet so continue working in this way till the end of this row i did the last four chains and make single crochet under the 3d element one two three four and make single crochet between stitches So I prepared the row for the rouge pattern. Take other yarn, insert the hook under the chain, chain of three, one, two, three, and chain more, and four double crochet into the chain space. Make double crochet and chain, double crochet and chain, double crochet and chain, double crochet and chain. I have done double crochet with chain four times. Make a chain, then double crochet with chain seven times into the next chain space. One. two three four 
five, six, and seven. Then double crochet with chain seven times into the next chain space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have got a ruches. Continue working in this way till the end of this row. I did ruche pattern. After finishing, I cut off the yarn. And now insert the hook into the loop of other yarn. And now I will crochet in Tunisian technique. Then insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Pull up a loop. And insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Continue one more time. You can do more stitches or less than I did. Now complete this stitch. Yarn over the hook and draw through the first loop. Then yarn over and draw through the next two loops. Make pull through two loops till you will have one loop remaining on the hook. First row is done. Now I will crochet on the front side of the work. Begin the row 2. Insert the hook between stitches and pull up a loop. Insert the hook between these two stitches and pull up a loop. Insert the hook between two stitches, pull up a loop. And repeat the same till the end of this row. Here the last one, insert the hook between these two loops, pull up a loop, insert the hook into the last stitch and pull up a loop. And to complete this stitch, yarn over and row through the first loop. Then yarn over and row through the next two loops till you will get, till you will have one loop remaining on the hook. The second row is made. Begin the third row. Insert the hook between these two loops, pull up a loop. Insert the hook between two loops, pull up a loop. Continue working in this way till the end of this row. Insert the hook between these two loops, pull up a loop. Here we have two last stitches. Insert the hook between these two loops, pull up a loop and insert the hook into the last stitch and pull up a loop. Then yarn over and pull through first loop. Then pull through two loops till you will have one loop remaining on the hook. We have done three rows of the Tunisian crochet. Continue doing this some numbers of rows. You need to do some number of rows. I did some rows in Tunisian technique. With each new row of the swatch began bigger on the both sides. And now I will join Tunisian swatch to the rouge pattern.
pull up the working loop, insert the hook into the ruche, take the working loop, pull it through. To secure the work, make a chain. The work is ready and the scramble is done. In this perform video tutorial, you have seen how to make the triple colored scramble element made in freeform technique. You can crochet other motifs in arbitrary order alternating elements of the freeform technique. Thanks for watching.